evening, everyone. And I know it's a little late, but I would like to welcome you all to Brad and Sarah's wedding reception. I know that the uh, the sunset stand up, sit down. It's a little like a Catholic mass. Stand up here, sit down over there. And I'm sorry to move you all around, but anyway, we're going to make a couple of speeches. Kristen's going to have something to say. Uh, Kathy's got something to say. And I just want to talk for a second about Sarah. My little Sarah. Of constants in Sarah's life, and there are a couple of constants. <laughs> constants. No, 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 not that kind of constant. Uh, there's her mom. Uh, where's mom? Cindy. There's her, there's her sister. Kristen. Okay, yeah. There's her sister Kristen. There's your love of, uh, oh, there's Nana and Papa. There's Nana and Papa who aren't here tonight, but Nana and Papa were in charge of keeping that storm system off the coast, 20 miles off the coast. Let's hear it for them. Yeah. 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 And if they were here, it would have rained, so. <laughs> and, and she's got a love of books. She reads a book a week. I don't know anybody except my grandmother who read a book a week, and my grandmother, for the last 10 years of her life, was stuck in a chair. So that pretty much tells you how serious she is about reading. Um, she reads. She's crazy about food. She's crazy about cooking. She's crazy about bread. Part of her food fetish, I think, has been the fact that she's worked at Cafe Atlantic for 20-something years. And thanks to Bob and Ruth, she's had 4,377 employee meals. <laughs> and, and thank you, Bob and Ruth, for keeping her healthy. And I think that's great. That's a big part of her life. That's part of a constant in Sarah's life. There's another constant in Sarah's life, and that's this island. It's Ocracoke. Sarah came here for the first time when she was five years old. She came here at five years old. She came back every summer, pretty much every summer, and then she came back here to go to high school. Um, and then she graduated. She was the salutatorian of her class. I was always really excited about telling people that my daughter was the salutatorian of her high school class. And we all came down here, and everybody just descended on the island, and we saw Sarah and the valedictorian and the one other graduating. <laughs> I was so proud. I'm always so proud of that was one of our, one of Cindy and mine, a real special moment. She's, so Ocracoke, so what about Ocracoke? A lot of you have never been here. Many people have never been to Ocracoke. And the minute you got off that ferry and drove down Highway 12, you started seeing what a beautiful place this is and what a special place this is and what a unique place this is. And Sarah represents to me a lot of what's about Sarah is also about Ocracoke. She's beautiful, and Ocracoke is a beautiful place. Yeah. And, uh, she cares, and Ocracoke cares. Ocracoke is very creative. It's very fun. It certainly is fun. It's a happy place. Um, it's a creative place. It's a colorful place. A lot about what Sarah does and, and what Sarah does with her life. Work-wise, if you're lucky. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. It's fine. Yeah, I just tell a movie with him in a minute. So anyway, we're talking about Ocracoke. Right. But Ocracoke, kind of like Sarah, can be uh, a little hard to reach. <laughs> Ocracoke can be thorny, a little threatening, a little threatening. The winds blow, the rains blow, and everybody goes inside their homes or to the pub <laughs> until it's all done, and then the sun comes out again, and then it's warm, and then it's wonderful, and uh, and that's kind of there's, there's a good similarity there between who Sarah is and what Ocracoke is, and I think that I can't figure out any other place where, where Sarah could flourish except for an island like yeah. this. With people like this who care about her as much as all of you do and the rest of the island does. There's signs all over the island. Congratulations, Brad and Sarah. Congratulations, Brad and Sarah. And it's, and it's such, a, such a wonderful place. So anyway, when she moved here, when she settled here forever, <laughs> Wherever after college, 
uh, she was 25, she settled here, and I, my only worry was, it's like, oh wow, it's Ocracoke. Um, and there's only 800 people on this island, and that, that means there's 400 men. And of the 400 men, 200 of them are married. And of the 200 that are left, 100 of them are not her type. And the other 100, of the other 100, there's 50 of them who are living with the other 50. So, what are the chances? Another island with great sunshine and warmth and, and turquoise waters and white sandy beaches called Cayman, where she went with a bunch of her girlfriends who are here tonight, and then she met Brad. And she met Brad, and she told me about Brad, and she fell in love with Brad, and she told me that Brad was from South Africa, and he wanted to move to Ocracoke. <laughs> South Africa, and he wants to move to Ocracoke. So I was worried that he was part of a witness protection program. <laughs> Cape Town. I checked him out, and he's fine. And Tony Sylvester tells me, and he works for Tony, Tony tells me he's the best guy he's ever had working for him, and he's not quick on his compliments. So, all I want to say is, after all this, Sarah and B-Rad have found each other. Sarah and Brad are as happy as they can be, and as a parent, what more do you want for your children, for your daughter or your son, than to have them meet somebody who loves them unconditionally and makes them really happy. That's all you want. So that's all I want to say. And, and, and I love you. Kathy from South Africa, which is uh, on, on her way to London, really from London. Oh, wait a minute, Brad wants to say something. <laughs> <laughs> well played. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you all for being here because it means so much to all of us to have you here. You came from so far away and so close. Um, and we feel really honored that you've made the trip from across the street to across the ocean. I mean, that's good. Bob Ruth lives across the street and this table lives across the ocean. So that's as far and wide as everyone has come. And, and we welcome you here and hope you love it here. And thanks for coming. Now, Aunt Kathy has something to say about you know who. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ronnie, the best man, the United States of America would not give him a visa. Yeah. Don't know why, but he and Brad, from three years old, grew up together. <laughs> best of mates, and unfortunately, Ronnie couldn't be here. So, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a few messages from people who would have loved to have been here. Unfortunately, couldn't. So, we have, first of all, congratulations and love to you both from Stuart and Jeannie. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations from Glenn and Charmaine. Glenn would love to have been here, <laughs> trust me. He tried, Charmaine said no. <laughs> uh, Nola and Dylan, um, Brad and Sarah, we are thinking of you with so much love. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations and have a great day no from crying. Errol, Lloyd, Brett and Tatiana. <laughs> Love and best wishes to, Bre to Brad and Sarah from Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Brad's cousin Justin. Hmm. <laughs> There's two months between Brad and Justin. Need I say more? <laughs> While I'm gutted, I cannot be there for such a special, special and great occasion. I'm happy that this event is finally taking place. These two people have had to overcome incredible obstacles 
to get to this place. From thousands of miles, from thousands of miles, which one thing all governments have in common, the love of paperwork. <laughs> Um, Justin says, um, even though I'm currently in the centre of London, I'd love, I'd, I'd like to, no, I can't see this. <laughs> even though I'm currently in the centre of London, I'd like to thank the bridesmaids for getting Sarah to the altar. I'm sure she put up quite a fight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I say big love to you both. I'll I'll be arranging a visit soon. And I hope you guys have a great day. Then we have Blair is Brad's youngest brother. All our dreams can come true if we if we have the courage to pursue them. Brad and Sarah, you pursue them. We're so sorry we can't be there to share your special day. But we'll be with you, but we'll be with you in our heart and soul. Love, love, hugs and happiness. Blair, Landy, <laughs> Esther, Ethan. <laughs> and then just <laughs> there's an African saying: It doesn't matter what you have, as long as you have, or you, you are happy with the people you are with. Fred and Sarah, you're happy. <laughs>